Lesson 5, Polynomials, Multiple Roots Theory If x equals a is a root of multiplicity r of the real polynomial px, then x equals a is a root of multiplicity r minus 1 of the derived polynomial p dash x and a root of multiplicity r minus 2 of p double dash x and so on. Now we'll set the polynomial up this way. Right, that px is equal to x minus a of degree r qx. Now if we differentiate this, we get p dash x is equal to, now holding this one constant, we get x minus a to the power r that one q dash x plus now we'll differentiate this one then it becomes r x minus a to the r minus 1 and that's just qx ok now we take out the x minus a to the r minus 1 and we're left inside with an x minus a q dash x plus r qx now of course this is another polynomial and there we, there we have it x minus a r minus 1 and that is maybe something like sx or something like that it's another polynomial so this shows that if x equals a is a factor or root or zero of this polynomial then it's also a zero of the derived polynomial. Alright, now in example 5, we have to solve px equals 4x cubed minus 8x squared plus 5x minus 1, given that is a root of multiplicity of 2. Okay, so what we'll do here, we'll differentiate that polynomial, and we get px is 4x cubed minus 8x squared plus 5x minus 1 so p dash x is equal to 12x squared minus 16x plus 5 we need to factorize that so what two numbers multiply together give me 60 multiplying these two together and add up to give me minus 16. And clearly that's going to be minus 6 and minus 10. So that's going to be 12x minus 6 and 12x, mi 12x minus 10 on 12. And we'll take out the 6 here. So we get 6 out, so 2x minus 1. And we'll take out the 2 here, that's 2 outside of 6x minus 5 on 12, which gives me 2x minus 1, 6x minus 5. Now, clearly then, if it has a multiplicity of 2, then x could be equal to a half, or x could be equal to 5, 6. But if you look at this, we see a 1 here and a 4, right, so it's impossible for it to be 5 sixths, right, so it should be a half, would be a possibility. But we should check this, and we'll do that, we'll just check a half. So putting in the half, we get 4 times a half cubed minus 8 times a half squared plus 5 times a half minus 1 and that's going to be equal to a half minus 2 plus 2 and a half minus 1 and that's equal to 0 so if we were correct that um, x equals half is a solution so we have that our px must be equal to 2x minus 1 to 
and 2x minus 1 times. Now, you'll see here we've got a 4 at the top there. So 2x times 2x gives us a 4x squared. So this has to be an x in here plus some constant k. But it's quite clear that this must end in a negative 1. So we multiply these two together, we get positive 1. So clearly the k must be negative 1. So we, now we've factorised all that. Okay, and so our zeros are x equals, there's a multiple, a half, a half, and 